Hey, happy Saturday, y'all. Hope uh, hope your weekend's starting out great. Um, just thought I'd take a time. I've got my dogs, two of my dogs at the groomer right now. House is empty. A little bit of time to maybe do a video. So, got a short one for you here. So, I got some recent pickups. They're all three from different sellers. Uh, but they, you'll see the theme. Um, and I say recent pickups, but we're probably talking... I don't know, maybe at this point, four or five weeks, I'm a little behind on doing my mail days. So what they are is, a decision I made recently is, not only do I want to get every Herb Score tops card, which isn't that tough, um, but I want to try to get a copy of each of those signed. So I started out, and uh, if you don't know who Herb Score is, he was the longtime color commentator for the Indians. When I was following the Indians in the mid '90s as a teenager, he was the, like I said, he was the color guy on the radio with Tom Hamilton, and just loved the guy. Um, he was an outstanding pitcher before he took a line drive to the eye. Uh, he was able to come back, but was not his prior self. He was a dominant pitcher his first few years before the incident, and I mean, likely would have been a Hall of Famer. He was a Rookie of the Year, was likely a Hall of Famer, you know. I'm sure that some people won't like to hear this, but he probably could have been just as dominant as Sandy Koufax and held it. He wouldn't have been held in that regard because he's in a small market and doesn't play in one of the big markets that y'all cheer for. Um, but anyway, so I figured I'd show off a couple of them. So this is the first one, 57 tops, PSA, DNA, certified. So, I mean, we've seen what's going on with certification, certified autographs on T206s and Gaudis. But there's a lot more Herb scores out there, so hopefully feel a little bit better about that one. Um, I really only want to buy authenticated ones just to make sure they're legit. Um, I'm willing to pay a few extra bucks to have it in a slab. But this one I couldn't pass on. Between the card price and the shipping, it was still less than 5 bucks, And it was a Topps flashback from one of the Heritage sets. And, I mean, if it's a, if it's a, I mean, it looks, looks legit enough, so I'm not going to complain. And then the last one, and this is actually my worst eBay experience. I'm actually not going to keep this card. It's going back. I did an auction for, or not an auction, I'm sorry. I did a buy it now on a Cleveland Indians team card from this same set that was signed by Herb Score, and the seller sent me this. Not only did he send me this, I sent him three messages within a week, none of which he bothered to reply to. Horrible. I've been on eBay since like 99. So, I mean, that's almost 20 years and I'm not happy at all. So, I'm going to send this one back because I don't really care for the signature. I have to wonder if it was during his later years. You can see it over here. I don't know how well you'll see it on the camera, but it's just not the greatest signature. So, I am going to send this back. Um, pretty pissed off because I wanted the other one. Definitely the worst experience I've had on eBay in over, you know, in about 20 years. I've been very fortunate. Um, you know, I select well, I don't buy off people with low feedback, you know, I'm, I'm very careful, I don't get ripped off. Um, speaking of ripped off, if you, uh, I don't know if you read my website or not, and I'll put, put it down below, I'll put this article, but I did a post about people that are in group breaks, and especially like Facebook group breaks, because there's been a whole lot of scams over the last week, and... I basically posted that, hey, you know what? There's some account accountability on you. There's enough breakers. It's been happening long enough. There are guys that you can break with that are legit. And if you get scammed by some fly-by-night guy on Facebook, sorry, don't feel bad for you. Um, there's accountability on buyers as well. you got to be smart. And that goes with autographs or anything else in our hobby. You need to be smart. You need to be informed. And if you get scammed, I don't feel badly. I, like I said, I've not been scammed. I've been in this hobby since I was seven years old in 1986. And that I know of, I've never been scammed. I've never bought a fake card. I've never, you know, anything that's high priced. I've put, uh, I've made sure that it was graded. So I just don't have a lot of sympathy. Um, do your homework. Be smart. If the price is too good to be true, then it's too good to be true. Um, need to be smart about what you do. But anyway, I'll put a link down to that if you're interested uh, in reading that. Other than that, I am going to go get my dogs here shortly, and I guess we're going to go out and do some Christmas shopping. So anyway, happy collecting, y'all. Hope you have a great day, a great weekend. I will talk to you soon.